Thank you for joining me in my channel. My name is Primrose and in this channel we talk about trending stories in Africa and all over the world. We also touch on crime stories, real trending news, politics, TV stories and commentary. We also throw in a bit of lifestyle and travel. If you are here for the first time, you are welcome and it would be a pleasure to have you as part of the team. Please also consider subscribing to this channel and please don't forget to like and share the videos. Guys, today we are going to look at Zoleka Mandela's story. As we all know, Zoleka has been struggling so much with cancer. And right now, the topic for today is that uh, Zoleka plans her funeral. Zoleka Mandela, an esteemed author and activist, is rejoicing as she completes her orders radiation treatment therapy for brain cancer. The resilient mother of six who's been battling terminal cancer has been candidly sharing her journey with her followers, especially as her cancer resurfaced for the third time. Zoleka syndrome table spirit has seen her overcome breast, breast cancer twice in the past, but this time she faced the daunting challenge of uh, stage 3 cancer in her bones, lungs, liver, and most recently her brain. However, she took to social media on Tuesday, May 2nd to announce that uh, she has returned home and has successfully concluded her radiation treatment therapy. In a heartfelt post, Zoleka wrote, Dear Diary, guess what happened today? I had my last and tenth radiation treatment to my brain. I even got to take my radiation mask with me as memorabilia. My radiation oncologist has also asked me to discontinue the stories. I'm back home and feeling indebted. Next form of treatments is with my medical oncologist, peace, passion, positivity. Uh, during a recent interview with the uh, ENCA, Zoleka opened up about her profound journey, revealing that she's began planning her funeral arrangements. She expressed the bittersweet reality she faces, stating, I feel like I'm in a place where I'm running out of time, but at the same time, I'm living my life. Despite grappling with her mortality, she remains determined to leave a lasting impact, not only for herself, but also for her children. Zoleka's desire to preserve her legacy has led her to make preparations for her children's future and her own final days. Last year in August, she shared her inner turmoil with her followers, confessing her struggle to find the right ways to communicate her situation to her children. She pondered, what do I tell my children? How do I tell them that this time around, I may not get to live my life as a survivor? How do I tell them everything will be okay when it's not? I'm dying. I don't want to die. In addition to her candid updates, Zoleka has launched a YouTube channel where she briefly chronicles her battle with cancer and the joys and challenges of being a single mother. Through her platform, she aims to provide support, raise awareness, and inspire others facing similar struggles. Zoleka's son, wavering strength and resilience in the face of adversity, continue to captivate the hearts of many. Her journey serves as a testament to the power of hope, determination, and the unwavering spirit of a mother fighting for her legacy. What a phenomenal woman, I really feel for her i really feel for the kids she's so brave and realistic about her situation guys and let us applaud her for that death is guaranteed to all of us and i really pray for miracles upon her i pray that uh, maybe just one day when she wakes up we hear that there's a cure for this disease for, for this demonic disease that's just out there to destroy lives we really pray for such a day so that she can once again have her own hope yeah guys it's not a very easy thing at all and what i like about her is her strength and her bravery and her inspiration she's an inspiration to most people there are so many people out there who need support a, there are so many people who are going through her situation who wish they could have someone that can uplift them, give them hope. And Jolaka is just doing that, you know, for so many people, knowingly or unknowingly. She may be saying this for her own diary, but she's touching so many lives out there. 
And, you know, guys, it's so sad to hear so many people out there saying that hey, whenever she's looking for a trend, there's what she does. Guys, we are talking about death here. We are talking about, you know, something that is unknown to everyone. We don't know where we are going when we leave this world. Maybe it's a better place for everyone. Maybe it's not. If it's a better place, at least it's a, you know, it's something that I wish we all knew where we were going. So that at least, you know, you are just excited to just leave. Even though you are leaving your loved ones. You don't know when they'll join you. Yo guys, ah, this is so sad. Like seriously. I really, really applaud her for being so, so strong. And guys, let's help her. Let's pray for her. So that, you know, she may continue to stay strong. Because she doesn't need the, those kind of ways that you are looking for a trend. She wish to see people that can tell her that Zoleka it will be fine. And Zoleka it will definitely be fine, my darling. Because you don't know what tomorrow may bring, like I said. So guys, I, yeah, you know, I really, really feel for, for the children most importantly because they're so young. But anyway, it's part of life. What can we do? Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this video. Please remember to give it a like, a share, and consider subscribing just in case you are not. I'll see you on the next one.